Hey YouTubers, it's a beautiful morning here and I thought I might make another video. As I come across products that I enjoy using um, or solutions I've come up with, I want to share them on YouTube to help grow the channel and put the information out there where maybe it can help others. Uh, today I want to talk about something called the Yard Butler. It's a hand aerator. Uh, I like to aerate the lawn uh, every year once the grass is growing really vigorously. Uh, a lot of folks aerate too soon and the grass really isn't growing that vigorously and the weeds are. And if you aerate too soon in the season, you're just encouraging weeds. So wait until your grass is really going strong before you aerate the whole yard. Um, I've got kind of a mix of bad Bermuda and iffy zoysia. Uh, this is what the builder put in. Uh, he got a deal on it because it was uh, mixed up uh, grass. Some of it's Georgian, some of it's Bermuda, none of it's great. But with enough TLC, you can make it look pretty decent. And that's kind of where I'm at. And uh, every year there's some bare spots that come up. And uh, I usually use that little yard butler hand aerator to aerate the problem areas. And this year I left a spot untreated to, to prove to myself and to you guys that this really works. So uh, let's go have a look. So we've transitioned out of the part of the yard that zoys you and into the Bermuda areas. And every spring, I have these little areas where the grass doesn't come back. And I've aerated these, and you can see the cores that I pulled out. And I aerated these about a week ago. The cores that I pull out, you can see there's a lot of clay there towards the, uh, the bottom of the cores. Uh, here's a real good example. You've got a little bit of top soil at the top of the core, but the bottom of the core is just clay. And so I have a theory that these areas that don't come back, the soil underneath is not that great, the grass doesn't put down very good roots, and as a result it doesn't come back in the spring. Now here's the one area I did not aerate, and you can see there's not a lot of grass activity going on in the middle. Now this patch over here was the same size, like I say, about a week, maybe 10 days ago. I aerated it and you can see the grass is spreading and growing. And so the aeration works. And you can see from these plugs, this is a very hard area of clay here. And so the aeration holes let water get down and that encourages the grass to come back. And uh, I don't think this dead spot will come back again next year, or if it does, it won't be as big. So aeration definitely works. So here it is, the yard butler. Nothing more than a handle, a rod, and a couple of hollow tubes on the end. All you do, put this where you want the holes, put your foot here and bash down, lift it up, repeat. Every time you make a new hole, the sod from the previous hole pushes out the top when you're done. And it really couldn't be much easier. If you notice that new cores aren't coming up every time you push this down, that means it's clogged. And if you're not pushing up a new plug every time, you're really compacting the soil. So if it becomes clogged, just grab a screwdriver and clear it. You may have a rock in there or something. And so I go around the area where there's not any grass growing until I've got a hole every couple inches. And that should do it. I expect to see new growth here within a week. Now the cores, I just put them back down where I got them if I'm happy with the level of the area. If I've got a little bit of a hump in the yard, then I core the area and pick up the plugs and relocate them to somewhere where I may have a little bit of a dip in the yard so I can actually do a little bit of leveling while I'm doing this. Uh, when you're finished with this, give it a good rinse. If you leave this dirt in there and let it harden, it's going to be 
very difficult to get it out later. So each time you use this, give it a good rinse. And um, I've had this for several years now. There's nothing to wear out. I could probably get 20 years use out of this. And so it's a one-time purchase. It'll last you a lifetime. And uh, like I said, I do regular aerations once a year. But uh, doing these little spot aerations really helps with the uh, problem areas in the yard. So uh, if you like working in your yard and you don't mind a little bit of manual labor, definitely get yourself a yard butler. I hope you found this helpful. Please like and subscribe if you did.